Okay, good Friday here in the kingdom. And that's about all we can say, because if we get into the details of Good Friday, we offend people. So let's just celebrate and have a good Friday. And that's about all we can say. It's a holiday. Yes, we'll drink professionally. But no, we're not. We're going on a road trip today. Yes, we're going to the wilderness of Alaska, but in northern Manitoba. We're going to go do some welding with the welding sleigh and the caboose, which is over there. And I don't want to take the me phone out because we're at borderline temperatures for it to censor me. All right, so we woke up to minus 10, but feels like minus 14. Yes, and then on the yo-yo scale, it feels, it is minus 14 Fahrenheit, but feels like minus seven. Isn't that coincidental? Just like on Sesame Street, unreal. Okay, so I have nothing magical in my pockets. See, nothing, I drank it already. Yes, Titty Vodka to start the morning off on a good Friday. All right, let's see if we can back up here. All right, it snowed a skiff of snow to make it slippery for the old guy like me to slip and fall. I could have a slip and fall injury and then I'll hurt more and worse than my cold. Unreal. Okay, there's no sun for the first time in how many days? That's because we're overcast and cloudy because that's where the snow comes from, yes. All right, so over here, we're gonna take the caboose and the welding sleigh over there. That's the one with the window in the front. We're gonna go out to the wilderness and do some welding. Yes, welding. All right. And also too, the wood stove did not burn last night. It smoldered and farted around all night. So there we go. So all I did was open the door and we have smoke. Yes, for the Swedish kid. Oh, yesterday was unreal. We had planned for the great event of the Screaming Ford being here in those ruts stuck. And then I took it upon myself, working unsupervised without the film crew to get that brake to release because it was stuck. The next thing you know, the truck drove out. How did that happen? If we planned it with the film crew, the Hollywood gods and the film crew from my bedroom, that truck would have been stuck. But it was unreal. Just drove out. So that's what I say. It was a good day yesterday. It was uh, Thursday before a good Friday. So hopefully today we have a good day and the Screaming Ford is back in the lineup. Yes, it's my ice road trucking fame. I think it's the only film truck still around that wasn't destroyed. Oh, well. All right, we better go. Here comes the boss. Friday morning in Whoville, and it's just after 10 a.m., and I'm finally rolling out of bed. I slept most of my evening away. As you can see, it's kind of snowing out here. It looks like it's been trying most of the morning. Now it's time to head inside, let the dogs out, make breakfast. Not sure what we'll be doing in the kingdom, but I guess I'll find out after lunch. Almost 1 p.m. and I just got the skidoo out. Now I'll head on over to the kingdom and see what my dad's up to. Looks like he's trying to snow even more, so maybe we'll actually get some nice snow and then it'll get warm and melt again. Now let's head on over to the kingdom. Just after 1 p.m. and I made it to the kingdom. Now I'll head on down to the shop and see what my dad's up to. Looks like he has one of the cats plugged in, so maybe we're going on a little adventure today. Looks like we are taking the caboose out on a little adventure today. We have to do some welding and a little bit of grinding over at the rabbit tower and then we have to put a new flag post up on the big boat. So we're going to do that today, but my dad has the wood stove going because it is a little chilly out here today. So we're going to take the caboose down, get lots of videos and pictures and have some fun. Jacking up the skis on the welding sleigh here because it's easier to do this than to get the loader out to break them free. We tried with the mini but they were too stuck in the ground and the mini wasn't able to do it so this is the second best.
1.30 and we just got the welder started. Now my dad will go over and start up Bismarck and then he can come hook up to the sleighs here. We have to go all the way around the kingdom and then back over to the big boat. I already got the big ladder over there ready for him to climb up and weld the flag post on. Once we get over there, I can carry the flag post that's in the shop over to the boat. Down in the backyard, now my dad's going to do the loop and turn the sleighs around, then he can go up by the big boat and we can weld the flag post on.
over at the big boat now. We have to unstring all the cables for the welder and then we can put the flag post up on the boat here. I'm not sure exactly where it's gonna go. I just know it's going on the big boat somewhere. I'll head on over to the shop and grab the flag post while my dad gets set up. Up on top of the big boat and I'm waiting for my dad to come out with the welding helmet. I have to hold the flag post in the place while he welds it. It sure is high up here. Just after 2 p.m. we officially got the flag post up so once the new flag comes in we can put it up there and it'll look nice and fancy. Now it's time to head on over to the rabbit tower and do some grinding on the ladder. Almost 2.30 and we are officially packed up and ready to head on over to the rabbit tower. All we have to do is fix the ladder. I kind of cut myself the other day while climbing up and down. Knew it was a matter of time before I hurt myself but that's where we're heading to next.
over at the rabbit tower. My dad just came with the sleighs and the cat. Now we're going to buff out the ladder right here. The last time I came and went down the ladder, I accidentally cut myself. Not sure if you can see my pinky and all around it, but it sliced my hand up pretty good. And I think it was in here because it's pretty sharp. So now my dad's going to come and buff it out so it's nice and smooth for me. The last thing I want to do is hurt myself again or catch my skadoosu. Now my dad will buff out the ladder here so I don't get hurt next time or if someone else goes up the rabbit tower they could get hurt and we don't want that. It won't take very long for him to buff it out and then we can go and continue our adventure. Looks like the wood stove is working good. It's pumping out a lot of smoke and that's what we want. Too bad my dad's getting smoked out while he's on top of the rabbit tower. Didn't take very long. We got the rabbit tower ladder smoothed out. So hopefully next time I climb up there I won't hurt myself because this does hurt a lot. As you can see here, if my phone will focus, I sliced up my hand pretty good. It's 3pm coffee and my dad just went into the caboose to make a cup of tea. I will go in there once I'm done with my videos and pictures and see how he's doing. In the caboose now, my dad's making some tea for himself. As you can see, we have the fancy tea right here and then we have the gifted cup. These are actually both from the followers. Thank you guys so much. This is my dad's new favorite travel mug. He will be using this a lot. Hopefully this water boils so we can have some tea. Didn't take very long, my dad was able to get his tea made, now he's on the cat, we can head on back into the kingdom and drop the sleighs, and then I think we have to go pick up a drag.
almost 3.30. We just got the sleighs parked. Now my dad's going to head on over by the other drags and pick up one of the big drags and haul it over to the shop so he has something to work on. He dug this drag out yesterday when we had the mini out was doing stuff around the yard which works out good because now we're able to just hook on it and bring it up to the shop. Just after 3.30, we are officially done with everything. Now I have to fill up the wagon for my dad and put it back beside the shop. All I have to do is grab the long core boxes here and put them in the wagon. Almost 4 p.m. I'm officially done in the kingdom. Made sure to grab my dog treats and now it's time to head on back into Whoville and do the weather. 4 p.m. and I just made home from the kingdom and put the skidoo away. Now it's time to head inside, let the dogs out, and then I'll do weather close to 5. It did stop snowing. We actually didn't get that much snow, but it is still pretty warm, so I'm sure more will come. 5.30 and this is the temperature we're sitting at today. It's negative 5 degrees Celsius, which is 23 degrees Fahrenheit. We even have the feels like on the bottom. It's been pretty warm today and it was on and off snowing all day. Now it's time to head inside, let the dogs out, make supper, and end my day. Okay, finishing out the day with the drag here. That's the Bismarck, and I got the back, my wind to, no, my back to the wind. Oh, these lips need some more vodka. All right, so we're shortening the cables on this drag and getting the kinky stuff out. Yes, we saved the kinky stuff for the bedroom. All right, so we're not going to use this fancy, dancy, clevis thing here with the bolt and the cotter pin because when the cotter pin gets damaged and the nut uh, gets lost and then the pin falls out we've been there done it so we'll save it for some retirement project so we have all the tools ready and let's see if we can walk and talk to go over to the welding sleigh i chose the welding sleigh with the welder because i wanted it to burn in hot i wasn't going to do it in the shop using the buzz box because that's a great power load on the house all right so the ranger eight was cranked right up and then I did my welds okay so here we have a shackle or clevis that was missing the pin it's well abused and everything we put a bolt from the mine in okay and the bolts too long plus the threads don't line up or match so we burned it in hot with a 330 second rod Hobart 7018 and then we did the final pass with the 1 8 Hobart 7018 all right I prefer to do my welds up hand like this that way I can control it okay so if you just do the weld around the pin it's just gonna crack okay so we're doing the same as what we do on the cat tracks and we weld the pin over I think this is to keep the if you do it layered like this going back and forth I think it gets the molten steel to flow into the grooves around the pin plus it adds structure structural strength to it don't ask me why but it works that's how we did it uphand just going back and forth weaving and stuff like that so it worked out good let's get this drag done so we can drink professionally because it is good friday a holiday except for the boss is an asshole he thinks we should work okay just about five o'clock and we got the cable shorted shortened and looking good all right let's go park this drag and then we can do our end of day video and drink professionally on good friday okay five o'clock on good friday we're done for the day now we can go and drink some drinks and enjoy yes we moved the 38 gmc down here fired right up not even plugged in but we didn't videotape that oh yes that motor runs so smooth now only after 20 years of trying to figure it out we thank the fellow in georgia for pointing out mistakes or flaws or missing parts there we stocked up the wood stove for the swedish kid yes that looks good and we parked the caboose and the welding sleigh right there. The wood stove's died out, but it's so warm in there. All right, so over here, we can't forget the plane. Yes, the plane CF uh, SDS, the Beach 18, that we got on the island. It was on the wrong island and everything like that, but that's just a minor detail. And look at the flags. They're looking good. Just a slight breeze to excite them. All right, let's go walk the dogs, drink some beer, and make a video. 
Talk to you later.